completely different. No! Happy Hot Topic! Uh, what the hell is going on with Nick Cannon trying to make himself look innocent? From going to ditty parties. <laughs> you should be more focused on uh, hanging out with your 12 kids that are in different parts of Los Angeles so you never see them. That should be a little more of your uh, focus than going on the breakfast club. I've even been at one when I was a kid, like 16, 17. Oh, standing come on. Outside. Nick, come on. Nick, 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 Nick. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Come, come on. on. This one. Come on. Here we go. That's the new thing that all the uh, shows are doing is they're having these celebrities on like um, that are like, yeah, you know, I went to a Diddy party, but I didn't do anything. It's like, shut up. I, I live my truth. <laughs> it looks like Nick Cannon was on Diddy's guest list. During the October 11th episode of The Breakfast Club, Nick admits he started going to parties hosted by Sean Diddy Combs when he was just a teenager. That kind of makes sense because he's very sexual. He loves women. And he surrounds himself with women, and he's knocked up a lot of women. And a lot of times when you work on big shows, I can tell you this through radio, that have girls around that are very dirty, that are very sexual, and makes you a slut. And this just in, Nick Cannon is a slut. In LA, he was doing them like every week. But they were, I, I don't know about the crazy stuff. It was just like... I've even been at one when I was a kid, like... 16, 17. Come on. I live my truth. <laughs> and Nick, who as an adult has been photographed attending several parties hosted by Diddy, including one a couple of years ago in Los Angeles, says he has nothing to hide. And was He's saying that because he probably got the evidence, you know, erased. He's always sober at the... So now he's in the clear. You know they have a lot of fixers that they get that they go, yo, go to his house and go through his hard drive. The events. Everybody but, gets scared to talk because they probably got something to hide. I ain't got nothing to hide. I don't hide. have nothing to hide. I, done been, I was in there Harlem shaking, doing all that. Hell yeah. That stuff, but it wasn't, come on, whatever. Nice. There that, whatever, I got nine kids, whatever. I'm busy going on stupid radio shows, whatever. We are classifying a good party with a freak off. I just well, think it's, it's hilarious. Who's because- <laughs> <laughs> drinking brown? <laughs> I love me some Charlemagne. I'm he uh, came on my podcast eight years ago, and then I saw him at a radio convention like six years ago in 2018 at the morning show boot camp. And he goes, "Damn, you tall as hell." I'm like, "Mm-hmm, hell yeah, I am Charlemagne. He's a little thing." <laughs> Who's drinking brown dot Ciroc? Let us know <laughs> that brown dot Ciroc. But see, that's the thing. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. So I was like, I don't know all that. They he don't. Was it they a don't... party sober? I don't. I'm in my life sober. I've oh. never been drunk in my life. <laughs> Yeah, Nick Cannon doesn't seem like he parties or does anything. He seems like sex is his drug. (laughs) The three-time Grammy winner is currently sitting in prison awaiting a May 2025 trial on federal sex trafficking and racketeering charges. Yeah, it's got to be weird for Diddy. Like, you're used to having caviar and whatever the hell you can have at any time because you have access to everything. And now you're in, like, the worst prison. (laughs) Karma, bitch. Happy hour. Happy hour.